back to Theme Park Wizard, and we have a fantastic update for you. For all the people who enjoyed the last Velocicoaster update, we have another one from Orlando Park Stop. I will link the full article below because there's um, Alicia Stella and includes lots of, a lot of details. A lot of small details that um, I'm not going to include here. Um, mostly because I can't even remember them. But I'll link the full article for you below. And also there's even more pictures um, in the article. They'll be in the description below. Definitely check her out and check Orlando Park Stop up out. They do great um, Orlando theme park news. Um, Disney, mostly Universal, but SeaWorld, all the Orlando parks, they're fantastic. Uh, absolutely love them. Also, check out uh, their podcast uh, as their YouTube channel as well. But, yes, we have another Velocicoaster update and some very important stuff. There's supports and track. Track, that's right. Sorry, my voice kind of cracked over there. But, yes, track has been installed. Oh, this is exciting. All right, so we're... um. Going to our second, but the first picture that you just saw was an overview. <laughs> this next picture is just a closer look at um, at the top hat. So where the steel is to the right of the picture, that is the launch tunnel. That, or at least the bottom portion, that that concrete, the coast is going to launch out of there into that top hat segment, which I believe will be the highest, if not one of the highest points in the ride. And that's the supports for the top hat are the only support showing right there. But and here's yet another overview. Of the whole thing, and you can see with the multiple sports, let's go over the top hat, then kind of go around the Discovery Center and kind of circle around. And there's see, there's like three uh, three rows of supports, and we'll get closer images of the that coming soon in later picture and later pictures. But here's yet another good overview, and there's Crane sh uh, building the show building, which is almost done. Um, I think there's a, there's a, about just a couple scenes in this ride, right? show scenes and. <laughs> The main ones right there. It's gonna be almost done, and they're just uh, continuing there. It's gonna be, of course, going to Velociraptors. So part of the you might be going through a raptor cage, um, escaping a raptor cage. Raptors will probably get out. Is what I, what I'm assuming uh, is the storyline of this ride. Don't know yet. Well, no, it's still not even announced. But it's definitely on pace to come become next year, which is come come out next year, which is awesome. Now here's a really cool shot. The coaster doesn't go right in that that area where the support tower is going to lower and then rise again. But the, on the two dirt areas, do pathways um, besides on either side of those, one's towards the discovery, discovery center and one's towards the water. You can that's a guest walkway, so you'll be able to sit there and watch the coaster go around you. It almost reminds me of like an credit coaster, where you can be on Pixar here and the coaster will be launching on the water and then it'll be coming on those airtime hills above Midway Mania. So it'll be surrounded it'll be surrounded by the coaster, which is awesome. And here's a close look as I promised of that turnaround. To the left is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, specifically Harry Potter and Forbidden Journey and parts of Hogsmeade. And coaster will be banking around, um, forming a nice um entryway, really, like I said in previous deals, entryway to the Jurassic Park area and be zooming across you and nice and like, beautiful on the water. I cannot wait until that part is finished. Here's yet another overview, one from a slightly different angle, more so of the beginnings of the launch of the launch track and the show scenes and the more of where the thematic elements are going to be the rock work and the raptor cages and again to the right over there to the top right of the picture is that Discovery Center and that actual Jurassic Park mainland main walkway is up above where those green buildings, those turquoise green buildings are. Now, as we head on to the next picture, this is where it really starts to get interesting. This is where we start to get deeper and deeper, and to even start seeing some track. There's, you see some track covered up over on that last turnaround, or that first turnaround over in the top left of the picture, about top, top left of the picture. And there's, the um, looks like that tower, <laughs> looks like, um, again, that tower that uh, you see in the Jurassic World movie when you see Chris Pratt character start training they they're like on those catwalks thing and the looking below the wrappers that's kind of what that looks like and as you that arrow the track was that's going to turn and go right in there and you can see the there's the covered piece of track again going right into that show scene i feel like this is where the things something will go wrong because you go in and out and then you go right into that launch tunnel that is on the our launch tunnel is 
covered in those big X, those X frames <laughs> out of the steel. So I'm, I'm getting storyline, not really sure, but I, Velociraptor is one of my favorite dinosaurs, so I'm super excited that this is themed to a Velociraptor. Um, and definitely want to make him wait to Orlando to ride this and check this out next year, hopefully next year, the next couple of years. I definitely would like to do that. And here's the next picture where this is the, the reveal you've been all been watching this video for, the track. Yes, look at that. Look at that beautiful black. I mean, you've, you've seen the black track laid out before um, at, at a site on a dirt lot near uh, kind of by Epic Universe. But look at the flat track as I think that's probably the ending of the ride that because you can see the the um, the heavier or the the um, like the more yeah again the kind of heavier type of track the main coaster track then it flattens out um, and that's probably towards the final break run and the, the ending of the attraction goes right probably back into the station. Uh, the lower track where that turn is, that's probably going to turn right out of that show scene into the or one of the scenes or the station into the launch tunnel. As it gets ready to launch what can be 70 miles per hour potentially if it's like Terran, which is what this as being close is related to, Terran. 70 miles per hour over the top hat, which would be so, so cool and beautiful, very picturesque. And, and tons more photos, not much more of the track, but there's um, more photos about where the rock work might go. Lots of the show scenes all on OrlandoPocketShop.com. As well, this lovely map is on there, and I want to finish out the video with this map. Just to show you the proposed, again, the proposed coaster of where it's supposed to go and what parts we've seen. We've seen again, that kind of heel, which those wide turns over the ocean. That's by that part to the right of the this map is by Hogsmeade. Um, and that's that uh, that section earlier in the video where we saw those again those three three support wide um, supports in the water and there's like three of them. That's that section, that major section the top the top hat is all the way to the left where you see the that big straight line it comes to the launch right by the Discovery Center. Then it goes right by right basically in front of the guests front of the Discovery Center, it turns around and it goes back in. It's a very compact coaster uh, otherwise because it goes, um, does some more inversions, looks like maybe a potential inversion over by that orange box. Um, you see kind of the line kind of just goes like in a, like a half loop type of situation or a big turn there. But yeah, so this is basically what the coaster is going to look like. It's going to be a great addition to Jurassic Park, great addition to Island of Adventure, and um, I think this is a good, good replacement, or not replacement, consolation prize, or kind of, they took Dragon Challenge away for of course, Hagrid's a beautiful, amazing coaster, can't wait to go to Orlando and ride that, but Dragon Challenge was like for thrill seekers, Hagrid's is like more of a family coaster that everybody can enjoy, but this one will seem like it will cater again more towards those thrill seekers. Um, with the high speeds and the elements, so it's nice a nice um, dragon challenge. Um, not again, not replacement, but nice consolation prize for people who miss dragon challenge or wish it was still there. But what do you guys think of these this update photo? Thank you for all who watched the last update photo and are keeping up with this. Subscribe to my channel for definitely um, lots of more up a uh, Velocicoaster upgrade, update photos and lots more theme park news especially as the star parks start to reopen we should have a lot more construction updates and a lot more updates in general so subscribe um, to my channel for that and let me know what you guys think of this proposed layout and the proposed track and the, all the elements and the theming down below like this video it really helps out S subscribe for more theme park updates and as always have a fantastic day